Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video for the Radio Master Boxer, I am going to explain Expo and what dual rates are for beginners to our hobby. And then we're going to go and switch over to the radio and I can show you the settings and the way to set this up. We are going to be using a three position switch for this, but we're going to make the technically make the switch into a two position one. So let me just explain what Expo is. I've already, if you've watched this series of videos, you will have seen me mention about Expo. Now Expo means that the movement of our stick in relation to the servo is not linear. So in the center, if we move the stick gently, nothing will happen. But then as we go over, the further we go to the left or right, the um, movement will be accelerated. So this softens out the controls so that when you're flying, it's a little bit smoother. You know, if your hand was shaking, the, the plane wouldn't move about because the control surface are not actually moving. Now, the second part of this is the dual rates. Now, dual rates mean we set up to a switch that we can have like 100% of the throw or 60% of the throw. And some aeroplanes, when you just put the servos in and set them up, the, the, um, the throw can be too wild and it can be a little bit difficult to control. So you don't need to mechanically adjust this like we did in the olden days. We can now do it on the radio and tell the radio how far we want them to move. And that's the weight. That's what's called the weight. So we would adjust the weight to be one a position, a switch in one position, 100 percent or a weight of 100 or then say 60 in the second position. So that's it briefly explained. Now, if you need any further help with this, please don't hesitate to contact me uh, by leaving um, a, a question in the description below. Right. Let's switch over to the radio and have a quick look at this. Now, let's take a look at the settings. We're going to go into our model and we're going to go across. And we are going to put the adjustments in. Now, this normally all I will do in inputs is put the expo and dual rates. And this is so that every mix you use will always have the expo and will always have the dual rates. So as you can see, I've set this up for aileron. But we could have done, we can do it and we normally do for elevator and for the rudder. So let's have a look at the first line and edit. Now you can see We've got a weight of 100% in the first line of our aileron and I put an expo of 25 and you can see the curve there. Let me just exaggerate it. Okay, there we go. And you can see I'm moving the, if you watch the center of the screen, we've got hardly any movement and I'm moving the sticks quite a lot until I get to here then suddenly it will give more throw. So that smooths out the center. Now let's take, I normally put 25%, some people put 30. You can play around with that until you find the setting you like. But 25%, 25 is what uh, I, I find useful. Then we need to go down to the bottom here. We need to s select a switch and you can see it's switch C in the um, forward position. So that would be 100%. percent so if we go back up to the weight, you can see it's 100%. So now when the switch is forward, we will get 100% of, of the throw. So we're going to come back out and then we have to add a line. Now to add a line, you push enter and say insert after and that will put a line in. And then what you have to do is go into that second uh, line on your input. And then we're going to put the weight in there. You can see we just tap it and we can adjust that and put a weight of 60. We again put our expo in at uh, 25. And now I've selected not not switch SC in the in the four position. So that now covers the three position switch. If we have the switch forward, it will be a full throw at 100 percent. If we put the switch back or into the, the into the middle position or the back position, it will now be 60 percent. So that's important because you don't want to leave. If you didn't put anything in the third position of the switch, you would you put it if you accidentally flicked it to the third position, you wouldn't have any throws at all. So that's important. So you must check this when you set this up. Uh, and then, of course, we've um, got the uh, ex the expo, which I've already explained. OK, so there, there we go. So you could make a third line and have three dual rates, but normally we set up two. So if we come out of here and we go into our channel monitors, and as you can see, I've got full throw there on the ailerons, the two ailerons. Click this back. And you can see now we've only got 60%. And I would normally set up a, a sound 
to, to, to the dual rates on or dual rates off. Let me see if I can do that for you. Um, let's go back. Let's go to special oops, special functions. Let's see if we can quickly do this. So we're going to go, that would be dual rate on. We're going to go here and we're going to play a track. Play a track. And let's see if we can, this can take a, be a bit laborious. Oh, let's go down. Doesn't look like I have a dual rate sound on here. That's strange. Oh, it could be rates actually. Let's try that. Go back, I think it's easier to go to R, oh, go back up in that way. There we go. Rate three. Okay, it looks like we've got rates on. Rates low. Rate medium. So. That looks like rate high. Let's try that one. Okay, so we can test this. High rate. So that says high rate. So that's how you would set it up. And you just pick the the um, the soundtrack that you, sound you want. Um, I'm not going to set the other one up, uh, but then you'd normally in the next position you'll say dual rates are on. And there we go. Well, I hope this video helped to explain Expo and dual rates to you. And if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.